In this video, I'll show you how to remove dust spots like this by taking flats with the ESI Air Plus. So you might be asking yourself, what are flats? Why do I need them? And how do I take them? Well, when you're using stacking software such as Cyril, we need calibration data and it's organized into three primary categories. Biases, darks, and flats. And here I have a hydrogen alpha data. The flats take an image uh, in light of a, a, like a blank white screen. Some people use a white t-shirt or something like that, or I just you can use an iPad. And if we open up one of these flats in uh, GIMP, we can see uh, some of the data. So what you're seeing, um, are you seeing some a lot of noise? And then you're seeing these dark areas right here. And, and these are areas in your optical train. It could be anywhere. But in my case, these are on the filter. And it's causing a lot of issues for me if you use the wrong one, which I did. I just made a mistake. And so you need to take flats for every one of the filters and, and that you're doing. In fact, you need to take flats for everything so that it, it takes a look at the entire optical train, finds these, and then we can subtract these out in Cyril. So when you look at a script such in Cyril, such as the mono preprocessing, we look over here to the console data. Let me scroll up real quick. So you can see right here that the script is expecting these four folders. We have lights, flats, darks, and biases. So the darks, what you do there is you're taking a look at the total noise based on how long your exposure was, the temperature of the sensor and whatnot, and we can subtract out that noise. And the flats are taking a look at your optical train, and then we can find dust spots and other errors and corrections, and we can take those out as well in software. And so these are the, the two most important calibration data you can get. I also do biases because the script is expecting it, but I haven't really done a test to see how well it works or does not work. Now, there are a number of ways that you can take your calibration data, but I chose to use the ASI Air. And if you'd like to support my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could buy through my affiliate links or in the description below. But the ASI Air is a huge time saver for me, and it makes taking your calibration data really straightforward. All right, so I'm in the ASI Air app, and I've got my telescope. Actually, I'm using my, my lens here set up, and it's, I haven't changed a thing. The focus is the same. The, uh, the zoom is the same. And so what I need to do is I'm going to take some flats. So I go into the auto run mode, and we already. I'm going to delete these darks. And I'm going to say flats, and we'll let them do auto. And let's take about, uh, oh, we'll just take 30 of them. Let's we'll see how that goes. So we're going to choose bin one. All right. Now I'm going to back out and I'm going to get my iPad ready. So I can do this a number of different ways. Um, one way I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, brightness to full high. And then um, you can do one of a couple of things. I can go to a, a page with white, or I can just zoom in here. This is just duck, duck, go. And then um, this can be my nice screen. I have tried to set my iPad on top before, but with a camera lens, it pushes it down. So that doesn't work. It'll work great on a telescope, but you know, putting it straight up and putting it on top, yeah, I can't do that. So I'm gonna get this ready, and then I'm going to press uh, the start button on the auto run and then we're going to put it right here and then I'm going to watch as they come in. Okay, now I can already see those two spots which showed up in my uh, stacked image because I had chosen the wrong flats and those two spots are dust spots on the filter. And I did clean it last night, but apparently it's showing up. So we'll take a new set of flats and we'll get rid of that, those dust spots. All right, well, let's go over to the computer and take a look. 
So here's the California Nebula in Hydrogen Alpha, and as you can see, the stacked image came out very well, and you will not see any dust spots or anything like this. However, let's open up the oxygen. Now, the oxygen has got uh, several dust spots, one here, one here, and one here. And the reason is, is that uh, I grabbed the wrong uh, flats. I grabbed the hydrogen alpha flats instead of the oxygen flats. And so these dust spots are not apparent on the hydrogen alpha filter, but they are on the oxygen. So let's go over and we'll grab the flats from the, that we just took and we'll redo this script. I'm over in Serial. I'm going to run the script again. Here's the old one so we can use this as a reference that had the error. And so we're going to go into Mono and run the script. Okay, the script is finished and here is the first auto stretch of the oxygen narrowband filter, the Oxygen 3. And as you can see, that cleared up these spots right away. Now I do see a little bit of uh, something. It's I believe this is um, from the amp glow. There's a little bit here, and I see a tiny bit here. But overall, a very good results and a dramatic improvement over the previous one where I accidentally had the wrong flats in the file. So that's it for today. It's a pretty quick and easy fix, and it's just a snap to take if you have an ASIR+. Plus. So have a good day.